Today I'm at the Templewood Stone Circles in Cormartin Glen, Scotland. This site was constructed around 3000 BC. They perhaps came here to observe different celestial events like solar and lunar alignments, eclipses and different things over the period of a year like that. So this is the burial cyst. It wasn't actually originally part of the site, but it was added a couple of thousand years after. So I'm just heading over to the smaller circle. There are two stone circles here, a small one and a big one. The small one was built first, but then covered with peat and discarded, until archaeologists were excavating the bigger circle and realised they were standing on a second smaller one. We as humans were putting effort into things like expression and abstract ideas. And to build such a thing as this, for whatever purpose, is an incredible feat. And it's incredible that it's lasted 5,000 years. This whole area in Scotland is super important as there's over 800 sites of archeological interest alone in this area. In fact, I think I'm gonna take you somewhere else to show you some great examples of some carved rock art. Driven a few miles down the road and I've arrived at Aknebrek. Aknebrek is the largest carved stone site in the whole of Europe. The important and impressive thing about this site are the markings on the stone. They're simple designs of spirals and cup marks, but we don't know what they mean. Maybe they mark the passing of time or death or some crazy thing going on. There is absolutely nothing to suggest the reason behind these markings. So that's Aknebrek, but there's one last place I want to take you. It's the coolest place. It's like Game of Thrones. It is amazing. So let's go. This place is like the King's Landing of the Seven Kingdoms. It was here where noblemen would be made into kings. There's this outcrop of rock right there. And this part is where the king and the noblemen of the fort become a king. The place is foot. It's size six, if you were wondering. And so you place one foot there, kneel down, and then get knighted into becoming a king. You can't actually see it, but just here, there's a boar, and a, uh, like a, the image of a boar carved into the rock. So what's incredible about it is that like this is history, this is where we came from. At one point this mattered, this meant something. This was the first kind of situation of politics and power and control. So this place was fortified about two and a half thousand years ago and it was chosen as seat of the kings by the Dalraida who were like one of the most powerful kingdoms of the time. It's just insane that from this tiny little place in Scotland they would wage wars and sort politics and choose kings. They even imported wine and spices from France. And that's the end of my little Scottish ancient tour. You should definitely come here. You should definitely have a look around. There's so much to explore everywhere you go. So have fun. We're just approaching the island now. It's just that one there. It is an absolutely magnificent, tiny island in the Southern Hebrides that has this incredible cave called 